Good morning from sunny Jakarta, Indonesia. Today, I'm gonna take a scenic train to Bendang. We start our journey today at Jakarta's Gambir station, where most long distance trains depart. There's plenty of food outlets and shops here, so don't worry if you arrive early, you won't get hungry or bored. As is customary for all long distance trains in Indonesia, you need to check in at a kiosk. All you need to do is scan your QR code or enter your booking number and it will print your ticket. Now I get a little confused at the gates here, as it seems to work on face recognition and there's nowhere to scan your ticket. Every time I've come through though, someone comes up straight away and takes my ticket and helps me through. So this is never actually an issue, but how does it work? I'm sorry, can I see your ticket? Uh, what is your name? Well, train, Pangandaran, destination Bandung. Lopong 1, second floor, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, Easy. Have my ticket. Train is in half an hour. I've ridden many Indonesian trains before and the thing that stands out the most is the customer service. I mean, getting stopped, telling me which platform to go to, it's just, I wish Australia had this. That said, my train was already on the platform waiting, so it's time to find my seat. Try and look for the panoramic car. Did I mention, I'm travelling in the panoramic car today. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Uh, ticket, this is a panoramic one and then yeah, your friend is panoramic panoramic. Gambir to Bandung, right? Yes. Yeah. The ticket is uh, 8D. 8D. Thank you. As you can see, the panoramic car has big windows all over, so you can maximise your view along the way. The seats are in a 2-2 configuration, and the seats recline. There's a footstool and power outlet in front, and a tray table that comes out of the armrest. Which you will need straight away, because they're bringing us a little breakfast treat, as well as bottled water, all before we've left for our on-time departure. The breakfast box consists of a delicious lemon water, an almond croissant and sweet pastry puffs. And how cute is this box? I love this quote. Soon after departure they came and took coffee orders too. Now if you saw last week's video you will see that the other way to travel between these two cities is a high speed train whoosh. It takes just 45 minutes, but the stations are further outside the cities, so it takes closer to two and a half hours if you add it all up. The Wish train was great, but the first class ticket cost me 600,000 rupiah, which is $60, with the economy being $25. Now the reason why I mention this is because this train heads from city centre to city centre in under three hours, and while slower, it zigzags through some amazing scenery. You see, this is the regular train. This one is called Pandandaran. There are different classes available to book, and you will also find a cafe dining car on board. Then they add different cars to it, depending on the journey, like the luxury class, the compartment suites, or this car, the panoramic car. The price for this panoramic car is 455,500 rupiah, which is $43, which is probably why this car is fully booked. This train makes two stops along the way. The first is Bekasi, located on the eastern border of Jakarta. After Bekasi, we leave the city landscape behind and watch some famous train guy riding Indonesian trains on the TV. 
There's no need to watch though, as outside the view is about to change drastically, and I know how awesome these trains are. For the next hour, we weave in and out of luscious green mountains, with beautiful rice terraces scattered throughout, and elevated crossings offering a great view of the scenery below. The staff also give commentary on the way, so you don't miss out on anything important, though sometimes it is a little difficult to hear. Oh, and look, Michael Patillo has been replaced by Coldplay, which is a good segue into the toilet. The toilet's quite spacious, very clean, and has all the mod cons. And um, there's both a regular toilet and a urinal, which I've never seen on a train before. I guess this could come in handy if you want to share the experience with someone else. That's a thumbs up for me. So what do I think about this train, and in particular the panoramic car? Well, I think the panoramic car is great value. You get all this service for almost the same price as economy on the high speed train. And the windows do give you a great view. But I think that even if you happen to be in Jakarta for only a day, you should take this train, not just in this class, but in any class, and see some of this beautiful Indonesian countryside for yourself. Which by the way is unfortunately coming to an end, as we head into Simihi, which is our second stop, and just to the west of Bandung. The last part of the journey sees us heading back into civilization, as we make our way into our final destination, Bandung Station. Once off the train, it's a short walk to the exit. There's plenty of seating here, as well as a lot of eateries if you still need something to eat before grabbing a taxi or a rideshare, which you'll find from the front of the station. So what did you think about the scenic train to Bandung? Did you take it? I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed today's video, please remember to like and subscribe, it means a lot. Thanks for watching!